Hey there, welcome back to Mantic Stringworks. So today on the workbench we have something a little different. We have this. What is that, you ask? Well, that is an ultra-fast infrared blue light Galvo laser. <laughs> so this is the X-Tool F1 laser engraver and cutter. It's portable. It's pretty freaking cool. And we're going to have a look at this a little more in depth. I'll unbox it, talk about it a little bit. I'm really anxious to start using this here in the workshop for lots of different things, so stay tuned. So as I mentioned, this is the X-Tool F1 Galvo laser and engraver. It's a portable unit. It's pretty cool, as you can see from the box here. X-Tool was kind enough to send this to me for evaluation and review. And if you're interested in more information, details about this unit, pricing, all that kind of thing, you can check out the affiliate link down in the description uh, below on this video. So this is a pretty remarkable tool. It's a portable laser. Now you can use it in place. You can, as you can see with the handles, you can bring it around, which is pretty unique. And I'll just, you know, tilt the back up here of the box just to give you a quick look at some of the info they have on here. So it has two lasers, not just one, two watt infrared laser and a 10 watt blue light diode laser. So the 10 watt would be for pretty much all functions on here, cutting included. The 2 watt laser, that's for etching, engraving, and metal mainly, as far as I understand. It's got a super fast engraving speed, 4,000 millimeter up to 4,000 millimeters per second. It's portable and handheld. Engraving accuracy, 0 0.00199 millimeters. That sounds pretty small to me. <laughs> Lots of different material types, wood, paper, acrylic, you can engrave on metal, aluminum, steel, you know, pretty much anything, food even. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got a preview framing feature, which is really neat, I'm uh, looking forward to that. Enclosed shroud, so the big green cover to help protect your eyes and you know has lots of different uh, accessories and Xtool uses its own proprietary software uh, Creative Space which apparently is really good and easy to learn which I'm glad because there's so many softwares these days you have to learn for things it'll also support something like Lightburn uh, if you're familiar with using that so how about we go about unboxing this thing have a look at it Okay, well, the uh, packaging in this is pretty meticulous and flawless. It came in a nice uh, box. I just opened it uh, last week when I got it just to make sure you know, everything was intact. And of course, uh, with the amazing packaging, <laughs> you'd have to drop it off the side of a building, I think, so to do any damage. So right on top, we've got a cleaning cloth. Look at that manual. A nice printed manual, you don't see that too often. Color pictures. Wow, that's pretty good. Multiple languages, of course. I'll be looking at that for sure. So here's our first layer of foam. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. The foam packaging is uh, amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we got a box here. I think what I'll do is I'm going to take out, so there's lots of little boxes, so I'm going to take these out. They're all nice branded X-Tool boxes, very neat and tidy. I'll put these right here on the bench. There we go, some more. So we've got these four boxes. That's it for boxes, and now we have the tools. So I'm gonna pull that out. Put that on the workbench here, and we'll do a little reveal. Here we go. You ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Very cool. It is indeed portable. Look at that. Very neat. So 
I'm going to turn this around. There's protective tape on it right now. I'll take that off in a minute. A little exhaust port in the back built in. Some sort of dongle. Oh, a little emergency stop button. So we'll have a closer look at the unit in a minute. Let's have a look and see what's in these boxes here. So box number one. Okay, so they've sent a box of sample materials. So we've got some wood coasters, it looks like. Leather coasters or patches. Looks like some metallic business cards. Let me open these up a bit. Come on. This will be the hardest part of the unboxing. Alright, so there we go. So we have some wood coasters. And again, this laser engraver cutter will work on multiple materials. These are some leather patches. We have some dog tags, metal dog tags. These are some small acrylic sheets. Now these are neat. I'm anxious to try these. These are metal business cards. Isn't that neat? Different colors. What's this here? It's heavy. Oh, look at that. It's a slate coaster. Very cool. They leave an engraved slate. And I'm not sure what this material is exactly. Hmm, I have to look at that. And then we have some, looks like some plywood, right? Some, I don't know if it's birch plywood or basswood. Let's open that up. Okay, that's, so that looks to be like 1 8 inch or 3 millimeter. Uh, looks like birch actually, or maple even. Huh. Okay, so we'll get to try this out as well. And the last thing that was in that box... Uh, what's that, you might ask? Well, this is actually a cutting plate. So when you're cutting, so for example, if you're doing something with plywood, and you put that on top, the laser is actually going to go through the wood, right, and cut it. So you need a protective plate. So this raises the raises the piece. You know, there's a space, a gap underneath, so the laser can go through, and then the steel plate protects the well, the bottom of the. I assume of the laser base plate, but yeah, you use that, so that's good. So, okay, that's box number one. Okay, box number two. Okay, so there's a actually, there's a dongle, can't lose that. So, this is an exhaust pipe, so it comes with an exhaust pipe, so it's flexible pipe. Probably. Whoop. <laughs> Probably goes about uh, eh, about four feet. So this you can you can use to go out a window or attach it to a fan, which is actually what I'm going to be doing. There we go. X Tool also has its own air purifier plan uh, fan. Sorry, air extractor. I didn't receive that, but I'm going to be plumbing this right outside the shop so I wouldn't need that down here but that's a cool thing to have because it would be portable as well okay so we'll keep that put it back in the box again I'm not going to lose this little dongle I'm going to leave that out and we've got two more boxes I'm assuming these are cables yep so we've got power cord for the machine and there's a USB-C cord here and one more oh here we go this is the uh, the transformer unit All right so power supply plugs into that okay cool so I think we've got everything here let's have a closer look at the machine now Okay, well here's the machine, you know, just on its own, and you know, I have to confess, I know absolutely nothing about lasers. I've seen a few YouTube videos, <laughs> I've never used one before, I never really thought I'd be using one in the shop, but you know what? 
I think this is going to come really come in really handy and I'm going to come up with all kinds of uses for it so we'll explore that over the next few videos so this machine I mean right off the bat it is so well made so it looks like it's crazy well thought out too so there's that extraction port on the back with a fan you've got your inputs on off switch power and that and I'm going to take these stickers off here that are protecting things, preventing stuff from flopping around and transport. So well done again, like this is it's actually a very beautiful tool. <laughs> Super well made looks like. The design is great. Inside here there's a sticker label that gives you some of the functionality so I guess sort of a quick reference. I'm going to leave that on there. Pull this off. Okay. Oh, one more sticker on this side. Now, one of the things that this has is really nice is this integrated cover, right? So this is to, you know, obviously to protect you from the laser light. So now we've got some more packaging in here. Let's pull this out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, okay, we've got like a little right angle square, so a little jig. Pull this out. A little more. And then, again, this is so perfectly packaged. There we go. Oh, this is the foam base plate. Not the foam base plates are the in the foam is the base plate. Again, this is just more packaging. So this base plate and it has these little registration holes. I assume that's for this, but we can put this down. There we go. So we have our base plate and this little right angle piece you can put down and tighten in place. So if you're doing some repetitive work, I assume. You put that in there and then just slide your piece in there all the time and you know, sort of batch out some things. Very nice. Very well made. Everything's you know, heavy duty feeling, well machined. You know, the lid slides up and down nicely, relatively easily. So, what's kind of cool and unique here right, is I can take this out and now you see. You know, there's an empty space here. Well, you can actually engrave or cut right here now. So you can move this wherever you want it. <laughs> Say on this workbench, I want to put something right there. Well, I just have to place the machine over the spot I want, frame it, set it up, and away you go. Pretty cool. So on this side, there's an emergency stop here. So you push it in to stop and release it. Obviously, you'd have to do that. I think it has to be in the released mode, of course, before you uh, you start anything. And then on this side, there's a couple of buttons here. This is the framing button, apparently. So when you press this button, you're going to see an outline of what you're going to be engraving or cutting and or actual design. It'll show the design, which is pretty cool. I'm anxious to see that. And then this button here, or this, it's a dual purpose knob. So this knob moves the laser up and down for focusing the laser, because you have to focus the laser before you cut or engrave. And then this also is like the start button. So you push that button to start the process. So let me clear some things up. We'll plug it in and just have a look at it here on the workbench. Okay, we've cleared everything off the table here. I've plugged in the power pack and I'm going to lift this the cover up sorry <laughs> so we can put in the base plate there. fits in there beautifully and I'm going to turn it on first time okay is that cool or what <laughs> X tool nice so like I said just turned it on so I'm not sure what it's going to do. Oh, there's a laser light here. Now this is not a laser, it's the light only. <laughs> so you can put your finger under there 
It's not a problem. Very cool. So I'm going to just play with this knob here, the laser knob. Oh, there you go, you can hear it. So you can see the laser light moving. I hope you can see that on the camera. You should be able to. Now, like I said, I haven't read through the manual. <laughs> I've just turned it on to see. It really seems to be working. Um, there should be two lights for focusing. Uh, they might only come on when you're actually in the middle of working on a project. But again, I will check that as I look through the manual. So give me a few minutes and I will um, probably have to connect the laptop to it. Yeah. So I'm going to get the creative space downloaded on my laptop and then we'll plug that in and see how it goes. Okay, I've got my laptop here and I have the Xtool Creative Space software, which is proprietary, but it's free. And uh, it's the version 2.0, which has been recently updated. So what I need to do is connect the computer to the Xtool device. So I'm going to do that. Uh, which one is better over here probably? So this is real time. <laughs> I have not done this yet. You're doing this with me. So let me turn this around. So there's a, it's conveniently marked in the back which one you need. There it is. So I'm going to plug that in. It's a USB C, so you don't have to worry about orientation. Okay. So there's the, we're plugged in. So now, all I have to do really is go a new project I think so let me just click on that and what I'm going to try and do is do the screen recording I just want to make sure that we're okay so it's asking me to install some drivers and I assume there's you know software firmware okay so let me do a few of these things and then we'll come back Here's something that actually I've seen other people talk about. There's actually a lens cover here. There we go. <laughs> so you got to take that off. And now we see the blue light as well as the red light. So if we drop this down, you'll see them converge. And so when they converge, that means it's focused. So I'll spread them apart more. You can see that they're split apart. Now we just bring it down. There we go. Oop, a little out of alignment still. That's better. That's pretty cool. Down we go. So after a couple of minutes of fussing around, I was wondering why it wasn't connecting. <laughs> I was plugging it into the back. There's actually, this is where you're supposed to plug it in to the computer. Silly me. There you go just so you don't do the same thing, right? <laughs> okay, I think that's gonna help. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. I found it. That's good. Oh. Oh, more firmware, etc. So, you have to update. And when it's doing these things, on the side you'll see the colors changing. It's blue now. So there's different colors to tell you different functions. So when you look in the manual, oh, now it's uh, like a pink color. So, or purpley color firmware updating. That's what that means when you look in the manual. And you can see that it's that purpley color. And when it's done, oh, we're done 100%. So, very cool. So, there's lots of features on here that, you know, make it, I assume, dummy proof. <laughs> or at least uh, as dummy proof as these things can get. So, when it's connected to the software, 
this is going to turn a solid blue color. Good. Okay, well, we'll let it do its thing. Okay, well, I've got the software up and running. And I'm going to see if I can record this screen while I'm working here as well. So, we want to try... So, I've selected the Xtool F1. Process on base plate. So, we have rotary attachment, base plate remove, use slide extension. So, oh, we're going to use the base plate. User defined material. So, there's a whole list of materials that are already in there, which is really helpful. Okay, after fussing around a little bit, I've just done a simple text uh, image, I guess, a vector image in here to put on this blue metal business card. So I'm going to place that in here. Now, let's see if the framing will pop up. There we go. So I'm hoping you can see that. So it's showing me what the size of the text that I've got there is and where it's going to be. And now, so that means I can adjust it. So the size is too big. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. I'm going to move it to the middle and then we'll frame again. There we go, that's better. So now I'll just sort of, you know, by eye, just center it, play with it a bit. That's looking pretty good. I mean, you could fuss forever. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm going to stop the framing. So I'm going to check that I've got... I'm on the base plate. It's a 0.2 millimeter blue metal business card. And I'm going to select the object again. So it's going to score. And then because I've selected it as the blue metal business card, it has an automatic setting that it will just follow for the scoring, depth, the speed, etc. Okay, so we'll frame it one more time. Yeah, looking good. Stop the framing. I'm going to drop the protective shield down. And I'm going to hit process. Gives me a little preview. I'm good with that. I'm going to hit start. It should beep. And then once it beeps, that's when you press the knob in here to start it. Okay, that took two seconds. <laughs> Alright, so it says complete, and you hear the fan going too, so it's automatic. Now this scoring doesn't produce any fumes or anything. I'm gonna lift the protective shield up. Wow, that's pretty cool. You ready to see this? There we go. I hope it shows up well. Magic string works. You can really see it nicely here. That is so cool. All right, so I've been fooling around a little bit with the software and actually my wife was able to clean up uh, the image I wanted. So it's our logo for Magic String Works. So I've got it here. It's a nice round. And I thought it'd be fun to put it on this piece of, it's like a wooden coaster. I got these at the dollar store. Um, you know, they're about three inches sort of in diameter. And uh, these actually look like hardwood. These might even be maple. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that here on the base plate. And you can see the two, and I'll just move them, you can see the two lights, right? The blue and the red. So. What you want to do is to focus, because now the material is higher up than the base plate, focus the two lights together and get them centered on each other. I'll just move this. You know, it's about, I'm eyeballing it. So now I'm going to frame it. So what's fun is I'm going to frame the outline. So this is a round piece. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Right? So we can see, so now I can move it. Again, I'm going to eyeball it here. And I've set this to 3 millimeter plywood and I just realized it's actually looks like maybe it's maple but I think it's fine. I'm just going to score it. So I've got uh, on the base plate I put in 3, three millimeter basswood plywood. 
and the object itself is scoring and again because I've set the material it will automatically uh, in, determine the parameters you know the scoring speed etc that kind of thing so I don't have to touch anything so that's cool the framing is really amazing it makes it easy stop that so what I want to do I'm going to process this so I'll drop the protective shroud down and hit process when I hit start there's going to be a beep now this will generate a little bit of smoke because it's scoring but not a lot I, I wouldn't do I wouldn't engrave this yet until I hook it up to the um, air extraction unit so here we go start press the button You can see that through the shroud. I don't have any protective goggles yet, so next few videos will be able to lift the shroud up to see. But this is going really fast. There we go, 20 seconds. Now I'm going to lift the shroud up so you can see it better. Semantic so Stringworks logo, uh, but I want to do a second pass. So it's scored again, and you can do that. It, right away and I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to move so I'm going to leave it there and in the software it just asks you do you want to process it again or hit OK and that will just uh, get you out of the um, the machine so I'm just going to hit process again same thing start press the button and this way it'll get a look it'll, it'll engrave it a little bit without doing any engraving and again I don't want a lot of smoke so that's pretty fun <laughs> so this is the kind of thing I want to use it for for headstocks maybe even fretboard inlays uh, serial numbers uh, you know all kinds of things to put on guitar necks even guitar bodies even the control knobs on a guitar maybe even label them right on the in the whip so lift that up, check that out. That is pretty cool, Mantic Stringworks, Ottawa, Canada. Now I did this twice, so this is scoring, and I can take my thumbnail, my fingernail, and I can feel it, it's in there. <laughs> it's actually scored on there. Now I can try engraving feature as well, but that looks pretty darn good. And I think, you know, you throw a couple of sprays of varnish on that some lacquer polyurethane whatever you like to use that'll be fun so cool okay well i think uh we're gonna stop this video this intro video today uh here so we had some success with the software we've had success scoring something on some wood here this is really cool um, the setup's been done very easy to you know you can really set this up get the software going probably within half an hour an hour you could be making you know batching out stuff if you want so upcoming videos I'll feature some other materials uh, some other functionality of the Xtool F1 so if you're interested in this tool you want some more information about it pricing etc please check out the affiliate link down in the description below um, you know, if you're interested, check it out. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.